Okay, you could say I celebrated the New Year's a little late. A few days, well, on the J January 1st, I got a bottle, a three liter bottle of wine from some Canadians because they didn't want to pay the import tax. So I was driving around with it for a few days and just trying to figure out how I can get rid of it. I never figured out how to get rid of it, so. Last night I, I drank it, a little bit of it, maybe about a glass of it, in the library parking lot. I didn't have a bottle opener for these wine bottle things, so I had to use a screw. I had that, and then drilled that in and was able to pull it. it took a little force, but I popped it open and drank it. It felt pretty good uh, initially, but man, my reaction time is really slow right now. I stopped, I mean, I stopped drinking at 11, and it's probably 9 right now, and I still feel it. I, it was only a glass. I mean, I just <clears throat> don't normally drink, but uh, it did taste pretty good. It's kind of a dry, crisp taste. Uh, it is easy to drink. It wasn't, it wasn't harsh. It was from 2006, so it's had plenty of time to sit. But, yeah, that's that's it. I'm going to pour out the rest. There's there's not much else I can do with that stuff. All I did was have a little bit of that wine and then watch uh, some videos <clears throat> on uh, the iPad uh, within the Wi-Fi range in, just in my car. It didn't really rain a whole lot, and it's only sprinkling now. Maybe this week of rain won't be so bad. Although I did look at the Eugene, Oregon weather uh, update, and they're getting torrential rain, and it's supposed to be on Friday and Saturday a collection of five to six inches of rain. So there's warnings of pooling of water and floods and stuff. But it doesn't say that. It's It says in the southern coastal part of Washington that's going to be a problem but not so much the northern I'm sure that kind of activity occurs up here too um, and just looking forward to it <clears throat> I got a new method for wiping all the moisture off I, f I found a sponge in my car <laughs> I, know. I, I, I recall keeping it in here I just I just uh, lost track of it but I can really wring it out it's a lot of moisture, enough moisture to wring out my sponge. Um, yesterday I spent a lot of time studying this bird dogging for real estate. They're, they're given a training course, which I think sh should almost give you a certificate. It's, it's an unbelievable amount. I've been making notes and putting it on a, my blog. I did the uh, first module, which is just about... Uh, like the the basics of a buyer's market and seller's market and and what to look for a little bit in an area <clears throat> and how to tell what a buyer's and, and seller's market means there's indicators uh, which can give favorable uh, information you don't just look for the home find it if it's an abandoned home you don't just find it and then report it a, a little a little extra uh, service can do looking at the numbers how, how much your house is selling for or whatever what the price is finding abandoned homes in the wrong areas may not be profitable the investors seem to want specifics and I typed in real estate bird dog in YouTube and there's quite a bit of information in there which is interesting. Is this falling down? It's very fascinating. There's some, I mean, good lord, there's there's a lot of people who want to teach business. So if, if you if you choose like either bird dogging or I looked also at a laundromats business and there's interesting stuff. People, actual owners just stand there in, in front of the camera and just go into the good detail about how they're doing it. <clears throat> You can really, you can learn a lot. Um, yeah, today I'm going to go to a new library that I haven't been to, so I'll see how that works.